Let us now get into the fourth topic of the session today. We will look at what is Ohame's key factor for success for any organization. Ohame suggests in the event of limited resources, if an organization has a very limited resources, it is wise to concentrate on the key functional or operating areas, identifying the key factors for success. So when you have, when you know that you have a limited resource, it is always better to identify the key functions or the key strength of the organization and try to implement this key strength for the success of the organization. It is very, very important to identify the key factors factor that could lead the organization to a success without identifying the key factor that could lead to the idea to the success of the organization it would be, become very very difficult for the organization to move forward in this particular aspect he talks about two aspects which are dissect the market as imaginatively as possible to identify its key segments now when when you have a particular market he says dis try to dissect this particular market into different segments make it into different segments imaginatively in order to identify the key segment where you want to target your product and promote your product when you have identified this key segment this becomes the key factor for success when you are able to go ahead and get the key segment to use your product that means the key factor has been identified for and this particular key factor could lead you to success because this particular segment could make you make the product be used by more other segments also and so you need to dissect the market imaginatively as possible as much as possible as possible uh, to identify what are the key segments of that particular market the second aspect that Ohame talks about is discover what distinguishes successful companies from the losers and uh, then analyze the difference between them so yes you need to you you just don't need to uh, analyze the winning organization you don't need to analyze just the organization that is doing very well and is very very successful you also need to identify the difference between the successful organization and the organization that is not very successful or the organization that is a loser so it is very very important to analyze this particular aspect in order to understand what is it that you need to do what is it that you need not do or you should not be doing in, in for as far as your organization is concerned when you when you are able to identify these two aspects when you're able to identify the difference between the successful formula and the losing formula it becomes very easy for you to grow forward move forward as an organization so it is very very important that you, that you identify the key factors which will lead you to the success of an organization.